everyone's doing well. I uh, wanted to thank everyone for joining our Hem Gage Together 2021 conference. We very much, so much miss your faces in person and can't wait to connect again real soon for live trainings and conferences. This presentation will give you a pretty good overview on the nuts and bolts of websites and search engine optimization or SEO. I'll do my best to make things simple and I welcome your questions. I'm joined today by Elise, who will help answer questions via chat. And uh, there will be questions also at the end of the session. First, I'll tell you a little bit about me. Uh, I'm from Asheville, North Carolina, and am 100% obsessed with my puppy, Hazel. I started working with HemGage as a contractor in 2015, building home inspection websites and writing content. Russell, one of the original founders of HemGage, approached me in early 2017 about joining the crew full-time and building out the SEO program. Of course, I couldn't say no to that. I had already worked with the company for a while and was extra excited about coming on board with the web services team. So this slide pretty much sums up my presentation. Um, in order to be successful and build your online presence, you must get the Google love. So you get the Google love by having a great website that helps the user. Like any relationship, this takes patience, attention, and time. So I'll start with the basics and then delve into the nuts and bolts of all things web and Google. Why do you need a website for your home inspection business? Well, because you do. 90% of users, so 90%, will look online for goods or services first. You have to have a website in today's market to compete and to build a successful business. Even if a realtor or friend has referred someone to you for an inspection, nearly all potential customers will check out your website first before hiring you. Because of this, you have only one single chance to make a great digital first impression. Do you need a website even though you're a service-based business? 100% yes, you do. You must be online to build your business and gain customers. Some customers won't even consider you if they can't fill out a contact form, send an email, or schedule inspection services directly from your website. 73% of customers will judge whether you're a credible business based on your website. Compared to a brick and mortar business, the upfront cost for a website is far less than outfitting an office space with furniture, fixtures, and signage. The monthly fee to host your website is far less than rent. So your virtual storefront with utilities included, with home gauge costs between $55 and $300 a month, depending on your service plan. You'll recover this cost if you book just one single inspection a month. I already have a website and it's doing fine. Is it? We offer free website audits and we know that there are some older sites out there and you know who you are. Broken links, outdated design and websites that are slow to load will not only affect your conversions, they will also affect where you rank in the search results. Technology and user preferences are constantly evolving. So what was popular a year ago or three years ago or five years ago may no longer work online. So for example, a 2016 model car that you bought brand new will have different features than a 2020 model car. Websites are no different. While you can add and make minor updates, a fresh new WordPress website will have an updated backend or CMS content management system that's gonna be compatible with modern browsers and devices. We had one inspector with a very old site that simply stopped loading correctly on the newer versions of popular browsers like Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Firefox. In order to stay compliant with the latest browser versions, design trends, 
and current best practices, it's best to get a new website at least every three years. So let's talk about the basic parts of a website. Your domain name is your address and is purchased through a domain name registrar like GoDaddy or Namecheap or popular ones. So this is the name that you choose for your online address. So AshevilleHomeInspections.com. Your website is your house that's built on your address. So there are different platforms, or I mentioned earlier, content management systems on which you can build sites like WordPress, Weebly, Wix, GoDaddy Website Builder. HomeGage only builds custom WordPress websites. Uh, WordPress is the most popular and the most SEO friendly CMS platform right out of the box. Your website is maintained and hosted by your web company or your hosting provider. The hosting fee that you pay monthly or sometimes it's bundled yearly, basically look at that as covering your virtual rent and utilities. So in other words, your hosting provider keeps the lights on and maintains your house, which is your website. So this said, you must renew your domain name. Do not ignore or delete the emails that you get from your domain name registrar. Your renewal fee to own this name is separate from and unrelated to HomeGage or your hosting provider. If you do let the, do the domain name lapse, your site will go down. Someone may even buy it out from under you. So most web hosting providers, including HomeGage, are not domain registrars and have no control or authority over your domain name renewal. So renew those domain names, don't, don't delete those emails. Digital marketing and SEO work in conjunction with your other marketing efforts. It is not a replacement for them. So you might ask, okay, so where do I begin? Well, you start by forming relationships within your community, beginning with industry partners, real estate agents, people that you're in touch with often that you might refer people to and you might get referrals from. Once you have these connections, you can offer to do a presentation on the importance of a home inspection for first time home buyers. Consider sponsoring a little league team, other family friendly, non political organizations in your community. This is a very inexpensive and great way to get your name in front of families, and they absolutely love that you support their kids. These same partners love when you make it easy for them to schedule an appointment quickly, which you can do with online scheduling on your website. When you sponsor or join a local organization, most have websites listing their sponsors and they will add your logo along with a link back to your site. That link is called a backlink. A backlink, backlinks are important for building your domain authority and for SEO. It's showing that traffic, people that are linking to your site shows that your site has something worth linking to. Uh, always count on people loving free food. We have an inspector in Atlanta who won over an entire agency with his biscuits and gravy. They began inviting him to every event hoping to get fed. So whether you just drop off some cookies or snacks, never underestimate that. Most importantly though, for relationship building, it's imperative that you think about what you can do for people and then do it. This is not about what they can do for you, but what you can do for them. When you put people first, they will come to you first. So now let's talk a little bit about website design. A good website is clean and easy to navigate. The fewer the interface design elements, the better. The days of multiple pages that are nested into numerous navigation menus are long gone. The fewer the pages and the fewer the clicks is the goal of a website. A well-designed, uncluttered website makes navigation easy and provides accurate and easy to find information. Since 65% of your users are viewing your site on a mobile device, 
it is critical that your site is responsive. This means that your site adapts to all devices and screen sizes from phones to laptops to tablets to desktops. Google ranks quick loading websites higher than slower sites. It takes only three seconds for 53% of users to abandon a slow loading site. And I am one of those users. So that's three seconds. Three seconds is also how quickly a visitor will make a decision on whether to stay on your site or visit a competitor's. An outdated or cluttered site signals to a user that you don't care about first impressions or details, and it's a sign that your virtual storefront needs attention. And finally, content is king. Google favors sites that add new and original content and that gives their users meaningful and relevant information. Okay, so let's get social. Why should you invest time on social media? Well, because social media helps to promote content and boost site traffic. People sharing your links exponentially expands on your audience and can result in more clicks to your website. Increased traffic to your website will help your search ranking over time. Statistics show that nearly 70% of consumers like to use social media for customer support and 33% prefer social media over the telephone. I know that this is tough information for some of you to hear, but it is true. Customers will look for your company on social media and many of them prefer to interact with you there. So let's talk about the Facebook and where to begin. First, set up a Facebook business page. Next, invite all of your friends to like your business page. Also invite industry partners to like your Facebook business page. This means people, the same ones you're networking with, hopefully, realtors, roofers, electricians, subcontractors, anyone who you have a relationship with. Relevant information that you share as an experienced home inspector, it has tremendous weight behind it and it helps you to build your brand. Asking for Facebook likes usually also results in what we call reciprocal likes, which can help you expand your audience. What this means is that when you share an interesting article, you can reach more people. For instance, a realtor shares your link for a blog about what to expect as a first time home buyer, or one of their followers sees it, shares it, one of their friends shares it, and so on. This can go on and on. So anyone who clicks on the link to that article is going to end up on your site, which is a sign to Google that your site is worthy of being on. <laughs> this is why it's important to publish shareable content. But for Facebook, it shouldn't just be links. You can, you can and you should show other activity as well. So let's take a look at that. These are some posts from one of our inspectors, James, who is in Hemgage's SEO Builder Program. He has 1,049 followers on Facebook and generally, on average, shares about two to four posts a day. You'll see here that he's sharing a picture from a networking lunch with an insurance agent and mortgage broker, one of him on a beautiful day inspecting a home, and another thanking an agent for a referral. If you're struggling with knowing where to start, a simple, thank you for letting me inspect your home, or thanks for your referral and confidence in Asheville Home Inspection Company, these are great ways to acknowledge the customer and the referral while also showing some activity on your timeline. Let's talk SEO, or search engine optimization, or getting the Google love. All good SEO work happens over time, and requires patience and a long-term commitment. A website without SEO is, is just, it's a, it's, it, doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> um, I mean, it matters. It's essential for your website to gain traction and perform well with the search engines. So search engine optimization helps your website 
gain quality traffic through organic search engine results over time. So organic traffic is the traffic that matters most when building your online presence. So for instance, people who Google home inspection Asheville or home inspector Asheville, and then click on your website from those search results are counted as organic traffic. So it's important to understand the difference between good SEO and bad SEO. Good or white hat SEO follows guidelines that appeal to both people and search engines. Good SEO takes effort, commitment, and time. Bad or black hat SEO produces strictly for the search engines. Results may happen more quickly initially, but Google will catch you and they will penalize your site. Good SEO produces content that is engaging and relevant to readers. Bad SEO manipulates keywords. These are the sites where I'm sure everyone has been on one, where the content reads, hire an Asheville home inspector for your Asheville home inspection to get your home inspected in the Asheville area. We know that they're trying to get that page picked up for a home inspection in Asheville, but that is clearly very much written for the search engines, not for the person visiting the site. As you can see from this graph, both white hat and black hat SEO require roughly the same amount of effort initially. The sharp dip that you see in the green or the black hat lines represent those efforts being caught by Google and the site being penalized in the search results. The increase in the pink lines show the sites continuing to gain, to gain traction in the search results over time through good, solid, white hat SEO efforts. So if someone promises they can get you to page one of Google in a week, remember this. If it sounds too good to be true, it is definitely too good to be true. So Google Business. Google Business is the most important citation or listing that you can have online. So a citation or a listing is, is a directory. It's basically the um, yellow pages of the internet. And that's anywhere that you're listed, whether it's Google Business or Home Advisor or Yelp or any of these places where you can fill out your information and be part of the results if someone's on that site. Your name, address, and phone number, or NAP, should be identical in every online listing. This is even down to street spelled out versus street abbreviated. So Google places uh, enormous value on accurate information for its users, and it will rank listings with any discrepancies lower than listings where that information matches and is identical across online directories. So first of all, get a Google business listing. However you enter your information there, anywhere else that you put yourself in, any other type of directory, make sure it matches your Google business listing. It's important. So if you do nothing else, create that profile, completely fill it out, and then ask your customers to review you. If you use the HomeGage software, you can set up a time-released message or a TRM that will automatically send an email to your customers asking for a review. Google reviews are the single best way to market your local business and they are free. We all love free. You just have to ask for them. So it requires some effort, uh, especially for small local businesses. Uh, these reviews can account for 20% of your local SEO. So that's pretty, that's pretty huge. So Google reviews are everything, both the number of the reviews and the quality of the reviews. So we're going to take a look at how, how that can help over time. All right, so this slide, what you're looking at here are the organic search results for two inspectors who are in our SEO Builder program. 
On the left, we have Lakeland Home Inspections, who's been in our SEO program for 42 months. Uh, they built their first site with us in 2017 and built a new site just last year in 2020. They are active on Facebook diligent and diligent about asking for Google reviews, currently at 177. When you type in Home Inspection Lakeland, Lakeland is the third result returned in Google Maps and the first organic listing for home is the first organic listing for home inspection Lakeland. The owner Alex has added three full time inspectors to his team since 2017 and has also opened a second location in Sarasota, Florida. The listing next to that shows one of our customers who's been with us for 36 months, three years, uh, Aztec Home Inspections. So Aztec built their first site with us in 2018 and just launched a new website in late March of this year, so just about a month ago. Mike regularly asks for reviews from his customers and is currently at 158 five-star Google reviews. Aztec is the third result returned in Google Maps and is the second organic listing returned only after Yelp for home inspection Harrisonburg, which is his service area. So as you can see, this very much matters. Both SEO matters and having your Google business listing and getting reviews. Those are all three very important things. So blogging for SEO. Since as you know now from earlier in the presentation, content is king. And the most important thing that you can do for your website is to add new content on a regular basis. This encourages the search engines to crawl your site more frequently, which will help your SEO rankings over time. Blogs should have long tail keywords, meaning a few words that describe the content of the article and terms that someone would search for. These are set up by your SEO content producer on the back end of your website. Content should be engaging for users and something that will be shareable and interesting to people on social media because hopefully you've also set up your Facebook page and are going to share them there. If you're in HomeGage's blogging program and give us access, then we'll write the blog for you, do all that stuff uh, for you in the back end of WordPress, and then we'll also share it on your Facebook page. So um, all you have to do is set it up. So tune in to tomorrow's web session. We'll take a deeper dive into how blogs can help your website. But that's all you're getting today for that. Another very important thing if you're online is to make sure that you are taking advantage of Google Search Console. Uh, this is a free tool offered by Google that helps you monitor, maintain, and troubleshoot your site. It's important that you connect your site to Search Console when it launches so that you can submit your sitemap and have access to these tools. You'll also need Search Console so that you can ask Google to re-index or fetch your site when you post new content. And what that means is you're basically asking the crawlers, like, I just added something, please re-index me. And Google Analytics. It's important to track your hard-earned results. Google Analytics lets you track multiple metrics so that you can see traffic trends, popular pages, user experience, and device functionality. The main purpose of Google Analytics is to track website activity, such as session duration, so how long people are spending on your site, pages per session, so which pages are the most popular that people are going to, uh, the bounce rate, how quickly are people leaving your site, or how many people you know, are only landing on your homepage and then leaving, along with individuals using the site and the information on the source of the traffic. So this is where it tells you whether it's organic traffic or traffic from a social media channel, and you want to know where that traffic's coming from for sure. So this is extremely valuable information that you will not know without placing a Google Analytics tracking code on your site. We'll go deeper into Google Analytics tomorrow, 
in the Home Gauge Together Web Part 2 session. Okay, well, I went through that faster than I meant to, but I wanted to leave time for questions at the end. So we'll go ahead and talk uh, takeaways recap. So build or update your website, start doing SEO or hire someone to do it for you, set up or update your Google business page, start blogging and share and boost your posts, ask for reviews. And don't forget that SEO and online marketing is most successful with an engaged inspector who is doing offsite SEO to help support high quality onsite SEO work from a trusted web company. So whether you use HomeGage or not, the web services team would love to build a new website for you. Every HomeGage website is custom built in WordPress and includes professionally written original content and stock images. If you use HomeGage software, you can also add a report login for customers and schedule a nap. This way, your customers can book the inspection and retrieve their report directly from your website, which also counts as incoming traffic and helps with SEO. If you choose to work with us on your new website, you'll have a dedicated project manager to walk you through the process every step of the way. Once your site launches, you have your choice of hosting plans. Uh, our SEO and managed hosting team has six people that are dedicated to helping you get all of the Google points. You can visit homegage.com to view our sample websites. Those are just pictures of them, obviously. I don't wanna click on the links because I'm not sure what will happen. So if you're interested in, in a new website, we would love to hear from you. If you have an existing website, send us an email at webteam at homegage.com and we'll complete and send a free audit of your existing website so you know how it's doing, kind of do a health check-in. Uh, also invite you to join us for tomorrow's web session at 1220 Eastern time. Websites and SEO part two, We'll recap some of what we covered today, but then we'll take a deeper dive into the World Wide Web and Google. And that is all I have for you today. So I'm open for questions if time permits, and it looks like time permits if there are any. Yep, there's uh, definitely time for, uh, uh, for questions here. There's a couple coming in for you, and I noticed the team have been answering some in the background, Carla, for you too. One question here from Kayla, do you recommend putting prices on your website? Um, that, is a good, that is a very good question. It depends really on your market. So, you know, if you're in a small market and you're the only inspector, um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily do it. But basically, if you're if you're in a larger market that's very competitive and your competitors have their prices listed on the website, um, then you probably want to go ahead and list your prices. Um, otherwise, they're going to wonder what you're hiding. So it really depends, you know, on the different on what market you're in and what, you know, your competitors are doing. So I certainly wouldn't list prices and be the only one in your area that's doing it. Um, but if everyone else is doing it, you should probably do it too. Yeah, and I think that more and more companies in general, not just in our industry, are putting prices more transparently on their websites. And so I think mm -hmm. general browsing behavior now is that people are getting more and more accustomed to having easy access to prices. So that's... Uh, You're absolutely right. And that goes back to user experience because... People don't want to feel like if I have to go to a website and, you know, contact them to just to find out how much they charge, um, I'm going to be like, ew, I'd rather go find a website where something's posted. So, you know, it really, it really depends specifically on like where you are and where, you know, where your market is. But I don't think it's a bad idea unless, you know, you charge twice as much as everyone else because then you'd be scaring people off. Right. Yes, I think uh, I think very true. Um, OK, if there are no other questions here. Oh, I think we have one. It showed up in the chat, if you don't mind. Um, Carla, Bob asks, I have a website. If I go with you, does it mean it will take 90 days 
to get back on page one of Google? Um, I'm not really sure that I, that I fully understand that question, but I will try to possibly, I'll try to answer it based on what I think it's asking. So if we built, first of all, we would need to build a new website um, for you. So we were not gonna bring any sites over to our servers um, that don't, uh, we have to build the site and host it in order to do SEO. So if you don't have a website with us and you want a home gauge website, your site that you have now would stay live until this one launched. If you're currently on page one of Google, you absolutely might see a dip in your rankings. And the reason for that is your site does have to be re-indexed uh, by Google. So essentially we'd have to submit it again along with your site map and it would need to be re-indexed and you can see a temporary dip. Um, so that is, it is possible that you would see a dip and you know, we don't know what Google is ever going to do, uh, but you know, I think you'd certainly, it would be something that we'd probably talk about a little bit further if you wanted to go that route, especially if you already have a very you know, high ranking uh, website, we would certainly take some extra care and you know, ask the right questions to make sure that, that we were taking good care of you. Okay, great, Carla. Uh, then if we, uh, oh, one more question just came in from Kevin. Let me see. Can I host the HomeGage report login on my own site or does it have to be on a HomeGage site? No, you can get that code and put it on your own site. So okay. that's something and I'm pretty sure that uh, either support or web has access to that code. It would be in your dashboard, um, but you can, you can absolutely on your own website, get the code for the report login. And um, if you know how to do that, or if you're working with a web company, they can add that for you so that your customers can log in. Great, thank you very much. Sure. Carla, we appreciate you. Um, everybody, you can see Carla again tomorrow. Yep. Um, at the, Carla, what time are you speaking tomorrow again? 12.20 Eastern time. 12.20, perfect, thank you very much.